Yvonne Strahovski Biography, Earlier Life, Career, Achievements, Personal Life Yvonne Strahovski is an Australian actress known for her roles in American TV shows, such as 24, Live Another Day, Chuck, and The Handmaid's Tale. Her appearance in the popular crime thriller series Dexter increased her popularity, and she emerged as one of the most bankable TV actresses of her generation. Born and brought up in Australia, Yvonne started her acting career with theatrical plays in school. Her early professional acting stints include roles in TV shows, such as Double the Fist and Sea Patrol. After moving to America, she didn't have to struggle for long, as she was already a popular face in Australia. She played a CIA agent in the series Chuck, where she appeared as a Sarah Walker in five seasons of the show. She landed another noteworthy role in the seventh season of the highly acclaimed show Dexter, where she played Hannah McKay. She then went on to reprise her role in the next season of the series. She was then cast to play Serena Joy Waterford in the dystopian drama series The Handmaid's Tale. In 2018, she received a Primetime Emmy Award nomination for her performance in the series. She keeps herself busy by taking up acting projects in America as well as Australia. Yvonne Strahovski Childhood Earlier Life Yvonne Strahovski was born Yvonne Jacqueline Strakowski on 30 July, 1982. In Warrington Downs, New South Wales, Australia, to Bozina and Piotr. Her parents moved to Australia after getting tired of their life in Poland, which was surrounded by communists. Her father worked as an engineer, while her mother was a lab technician. Her parents moved to Australia for better life. They conversed in their mother tongue at home, and this proved to be problematic for Yvonne while trying to make friends. She claims that she was a shy kid who could not speak fluent English. She walked to her high school every day and on her way to school, she would go through a dictionary to learn new words every day. Furthermore, she also had acne on her face, making her uncomfortable around people and eventually an introvert. She found solace in performance arts and constantly participated in dramas and plays in school. At her house, she would always walk around with a handicam in her hand, showing to everyone that she was intrigued about the whole process of filmmaking. Yvonne broke out the news to her parents about wanting to become an actor. After her graduation from the University of Western Sydney, she did waitressing for some time, and in 2003, she co-founded a theatre company of her own. Yvonne Strahovski Career In the early stages of her career, she worked behind the camera for many TV productions. Eventually, she landed a few cameo roles, and they all turned out to be a great learning experience for her. She was cast in a small role in the popular Australian satirical show Double the Fist. She then went on to appear in shows like Headland and Channel 9's Sea Patrol. Despite her interesting beginning, she dreamt of making it big in the American film and TV industry. Hence, she moved to Los Angeles, USA. After setting foot in Los Angeles, she auditioned for roles in films and television series, including Chuck and Bionic Woman. She sent her audition tape for Chuck and was contacted the very next day. A week later, she was called for a scene reading. She was immediately informed that she was being cast for the role of Sarah Walker. This was the first big break of her career, and the role established her as an actress in the US. Her Polish and Australian accent helped her immensely while filming Chuck, one of the reasons why she was signed on for the show. The show premiered in 2007 and became popular, making Yvonne a star overnight. She kept auditioning for media roles and started landing more roles. Meanwhile, her performance in Chuck was being noticed by TV experts and critics. And it became easier for her to land new offers. However, she wasn't quite getting the roles she wanted. Meanwhile, she also starred in a few films to keep the ball rolling. She did several Australian and American films like I Love You Too, Matching Jack, and The Canyon. She also landed a key role in the 2010 video game Mass Effect 2, 
where she appeared, as one of the animated characters. She carried on with some internet comedy sketches, provided voice for games and animation shows, and played small roles in films and TV shows. Chuck went off air in 2012. In the same year, she appeared in a comedy film titled Guilt Trip, where she shared the screen with Seth Rogen. A year before, she was seen in Killer Elite, a big-budget Hollywood flick, co-starring Jason Statham and Robert De Niro. Another big Hollywood film titled I, Frankenstein, that featured Yvonne released in 2014. Her role in the seventh and eighth season of Dexter, a successful crime thriller series, made her a household name in America. In 2014, her appearance in 24 Foot increased her popularity. Around this time, her career graph was on the rise. She then landed a role in another huge project in 2015, when she was cast to play the character of Renee Carpenter in The Astronaut Wives Club. Other roles that she landed around this time were in films like Edge and Manhattan Nights. In Batman, Bad Blood 2016, she voiced Kate Kane a Batwoman. In 2017, she joined the main cast of the dystopian tragedy web TV series The Handmaid's Tale. She was cast to play Serena Joy Waterford, a former conservative cultural activist and the wife of Commander Fred Waterford, played by Joseph Fiennes. She was lauded by the critics for her portrayal of a woman who desperately wants to be a mother. Subsequently, she starred in movies like His Out There 2018, The Predator 2018, and Angel of Mine 2019. She also had a voice role in the animated TV series Tangled, the series. In 2020, the actress played Sophie Werner in the Australian television drama series Stateless, which had its world premiere at the 70th Berlin International Film Festival. Yvonne Strahovski Awards and Achievements For her role in Chuck, Yvonne has been honoured with many awards and nominations. She won her first Teen Choice Award in 2010 under the Choice Action TV category. In 2011, she was once again nominated for the same award under the same category. For her work in Mass Effect 2, she received a nomination for Best Performance by a Human Female. The talented actress was nominated for the prestigious Golden Globe Award and Primetime Emmy under the Best Actress in a Supporting Role categories for The Handmaid's Tale. The Australian edition of Cosmopolitan magazine honoured her with the Fun Fearless Woman of the Year award along with the favourite TV actress honour. Apart from that, she appeared in Maxim magazine's Hot 100 list for five consecutive years from 2009 to 2013. Yvonne Strahovski Personal Life Yvonne Strahovski has always been a keen supporter of animal rights. She has participated in many of Peter's campaigns. She joined them in the early stages of her career and continues to work with them. She appeared in a video requesting people to adopt stray animals instead of buying them as pets. After meeting actor Matt Doran in 2006, she started dating him right away. After breaking up with Matt, she started dating her Chuck co-star Tim Loden. The couple tried keeping their relationship away from media and public, but was unsuccessful. In 2017, they got married in California. In 2018, they were blessed with a son, William. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on News Crypto.